lift up your hands before the Lord. We want to celebrate him as we give him all the glory. Just tell God you are worthy of all our adoration. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be exalted. You are a wonder. You are a wonder. I want you to speak to the Lord as you lift up your hands before him. Let him know that you adore him. Let him know that you love him. Let him know that you honor him. He is a God who is worthy of all our praise. Of all adoration. He is a mighty God. He is a mighty warrior. He is in battle. He alone is worthy. Of all our adoration. Lord we thank you. Lord we bless your name. You are a wonder. You are a wonder. You are a wonderful one. Who is like you God. We honor you. And we love you. Thank you for being here with us. We are honored in your presence. Because we know that when you gather your people, you don't gather them in vain. You shall be glorified. You shall be feared. You shall be loved. And honor will always be yours. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Shall we take our seats? We are blessed to be in the house. This is a great day the Lord has made. The more I live in this world, the more I see the greatness of God, the more I want to declare there is no other God but Him. I want to give Him all the glory. I want to give God all the honor because Him alone is worthy. Him alone is worthy. And let me tell you, you who is listening from wherever, who are in the house. I want to tell you that when you live with this God, you are not subject to the systems of this world as long as you are in Christ Jesus. You are not subject to the systems of this world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? Mm. Mm. You know what happened one day? In the Bible, the book of Genesis, chapter number 41, you know Pharaoh, Pharaoh had a dream and this dream could not just be interpreted by anybody and it was going to announce famine for seven good years and now listen because God will always have a plan for his people God will always have a plan for you that when famine is there your food is available. Provision for you is there. That is why I say, even if the dollar goes wherever it is going, my finances are intact. I will not be affected. I will not be affected. What the Lord is going to cause, he is going to cause extra wisdom that does not come from any and those who have the spirit of God those who have the spirit of the living God will have wisdom that will overtakes the wisdom of the world it will overtake the, 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 the size of the dollar the things of this world the things of this world will be overtaken by the spirit of the living God in us. Now listen. The problem we have is that we don't know who we are. And when we know who we are, we also don't want to toe the line. I say toe the line. You realize you are a son of God. You are a son of God.
money because what I speak is not controlled by the finances the economy the state of the country and the world I speak what is controlled by the heavens with my, when, and in the heavens my father is the owner of silver and gold and in the heavens my father is the creator of the sun is the creator of the waters is the creator of the land is the creator of it all so he has ability to do the supernatural between what people don't imagine my topic living above the systems of the world live above the systems of the world kuishi juu ya mitindo ya ulimwengu live about the elements of this world kuishi juu ya mitindo ya ulimwengu elements of this world mitindo ya ulimwengu huu will not dictate haitadhihirisha how we live jinsi tunaishi haleluya haleluya yes i say they will not dictate nilivyosema haita how we live haita kuwa na sauti ya jinsi tunavyoishi don't live by salary maana hata tuishi kwa mishahara yetu oh, by income ama kwa kile tunapata we live by faith tunaishi kwa imani anything better than faith is nothing na kama ni zaidi ya kuishi ya, ya imani basi ni bure there is nothing hakuna kitu that can ever take ambacho kinaweza pita faith imani in this grace we are talking katika hii neema tunazungumzia hallelujah hallelujah that's why i say ndio maana nasema i would rather grace afadhali neema than a bank account kuliko account mhm Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I would rather grace. Afadhali ni neema. Galatians chapter number 4. Wa Galatia mlango wa 4 verse 1 to 6. Stari wa kwanza hadi 6. Galatians 4 verse 1 to 6. Wa Galatia mlango wa kwanza. Or rather we can read up to verse 9. Mlango wa 4 tutasoma mstari wa kwanza hadi 9. In Swahili. Kwa Kiswahili inasema bali yu chini ya mawakili na watangu, wata, watungaji watunzaji hata wakati uliokwisha kuwa mriwa kuwa mriwa na baba kadhalika na sisi tulipokuwa watoto tulikuwa tukitumikishwa na kawaida za na kawaida za kwanza za dunia hata ilipowadia utimilifu wa wakati Mungu alimtuma mwanawe ambaye amezaliwa na mwanamke amezaliwa chini ya sheria kusudi awakomboe hao waliokuwa chini ya sheria ili sisi tupate kupokea hali ya kuwa wana sita na kwa kuwa na kwa kuwa ninyi mmekuwa wana Mungu alimtuma roho wa mwanawe mioyoni mwetu aliaye aba yani baba kama ni hivyo wewe si mtu wewe si mtumwa tena bali huu mwana na kama huu mwana basi umridhi kwa Mungu lakini wakati ule kwa kuwa hamkumjua Mungu mliwatumikia wao ambao kwa asili uh, kwa asili si, si miungu tisa bali sasa mkiisha kumjua Mungu au zaidi kujulia, kujulikana na Mungu kwa nini kuyarejea tena mafundisho ya kwanza yaliyo manyonge yenye upungufu ambayo mnataka kuyatumikia tena now verse number three, Stari wa tatu, says so also inasema kadhalika when we were under age tulipokuwa watoto we were in slave slavery tulikuwa katika utumwa under the elements elemental spiritual forces of the world chini tulikuwa tukitumikia tukitumikishwa na kawaida za kwanza za dunia under the elements of this world kawaida za kwanza za dunia hii so, so long as we were babies kwa hivyo mradi tulikuwa watoto when we were babies tulipokuwa watoto so long as we were under age mradi tulikuwa watoto we were slaves tulikuwa watumwa Oh, do I want to say there are people who are still slaves kama nataka kusema bado kuna watu ambao wako katika utumwa 
and uh, slaves na watumwa under the elements of this world wakiwa chini ya, ya maagizo ya dunia hii now i want us to understand this na, nataka tuelewe hii the bible starts by telling us as so long as a child biblia inatanguliza na kutueleza ya kwamba mradi mtoto is still a child mtoto bado ni mwana a son is still a child mwana bado ni mtoto that child huyo mtoto even if you are a heir hata kama wewe ni mrithi a heir of your father's property wa mali ya baba yako you are still subject bado uko chini to the law ya sheria or rather you are still subject ama bado uko chini to to you mean you are still subject to guardians bado uko chini ya, ya wa, watunzi and trustees na wa mawakili because you are still a child maana bado wewe ni mtoto but when you mature lakini unapokoma then basi when you become you become mature unapokoma unapofikia ukoma then you come out of slavery unapondokea utumwa you be, you come out of slavery unapondoka katika utumwa and now no longer subjected na sasa tena hauko chini ya ama utiishi to the elements of this world na mambo ya ulimwengu huu i want you to understand nataka uelewe the elements that are being said here mambo ambayo yanazungumziwa hapa is more about the control of what is happening in the world ni zaidi kuhusu ambacho kile kinatendeka katika dunia that is why ndio maana some babes watoto wengine who are not supposed to die of corona virus ambao hawakustahili kufa kwa ajili ya corona died walikufa because they did not have power kwa maana hawakuwa na nguvu to fight ya kupigana and speak against na kuzungumza kinyume the forces of this world ya nguvu za ulimwengu huu now when we become mature sasa tunapokoma the systems of the world uh, mitindo ya dunia hii in the spiritual realm katika maisha ya kiroho become subject to us inatu, ina, inatuti Did I say? Nilisema kitu. They become subject. Nasema zinatuti. When we mature. Tunapokoma, we are no longer children. Sisi si watoto tena. We are no longer babes. Sisi si watoto tena. The Bible says in the book of uh, Ephesians Biblia inasema katika kitabu cha Waefeso chapter number 4. Mlango wa 4. That when we mature. Kama tunapokoma, we are no longer tossed. Atu, atupelekwi back and forth. Mbele na nyuma. By any wave. Na 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 na, na any wave wingu yoyote hallelujah hallelujah i want to say nothing will waver you nasema kuna wingu yoyote ambayo itakupeleka kuna kuna you will believe in what your father Uta has given you ni baba yako amekupa you will adapt what your father has given you kile baba yako amekupa and now this is how we get na hivi ndivyo tunapata to eat tunafikia because the bible tells us here bible inatuambia hapa and now when you are still under age na sasa wakati bado uko mtoto when we were still under age tulipokuwa watoto we became slaves tukawa tukawa of the systems of this world tukawa watumwa wa mitindo ya dunia hii hallelujah hallelujah and now when we are we are redeemed na wakati tunakombolewa because that is why jesus came maana hiyo ndio sababu ya yesu kukuja jesus came yesu alikuja so that the people ili watu who had been given dominion ambao walikuwa wamepatiwa from the world ko tokea mwanzo before sin kabla dhambi should take over their dominion again waanze kufanya kufanya kazi katika nguvu iliyopewa over their dominion wajue kazi yao and rule over na watawale all living creatures vitu vyote vinavyoishi because the bible says mara bila nasema kwa kwa mwanadamu kwa adamu that you ya kwamba wewe will rule over utatawala you will subdue the land utatawala inchi ha ha is somebody listening to me na mtu anasikia say you will subdue nasema utatawala the land inchi so after sin kwa hivyo baada ya dhambi we became slaves tukawa tukawa watu but after redemption lakini baada ya ukombozi come out of slavery lazima tuondoke tutoke katika utumwa lakini hautoki tu no mm-hmm. the spirit of god roho mungu the spirit of god is mungu, born into our hearts anamwaga anamwaga katika mioyo yetu the spirit of the son roho wa mwana is born into our hearts anamwaga katika mioyo yetu then we become children of god tunakuwa wana wa mungu we call abba father tunaita baba yetu when we call abba father tunaita abba we are small gods sisi ni sisi ni miungu wadogo if our father kama mungu wetu is in charge of the whole world kama baba yetu ni anatawala dunia nzima sisi pia charge tunatawala Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are also in charge. Sisi pia tunatawala. Now after redemption. Kwa hivyo baada ya ukombozi, the spirit is very important. Roho ni wa muhimu sana. The spirit confirms. Roho anadhibitisha. Our adoption. U uana wetu. To the kingdom of God. Our adoption. Uana wetu 
to the kingdom of God. Being sons of God. Being sons of God. Being sons of God. When the world is speaking. Things that are negative. We will not speak negative. We will speak above the negativity. Those who say we are going to kill Africans. We say. You can never conquer the children of God. We say you are the people who will die. Those who are speaking about our death. Are the ones who are going to die. Whatever scheme they strategize will not catch you instead of catching you it will go back to the sender hallelujah Amen. because you are not a slave because you are not a slave you are not subject to the elements of this world that is why I speak and I say that even if there is sun as hot as it is and all the land is dry for the children of God there will be provision there will be provision we will not speak like the world because we know a God who knows how to give us the wisdom that will take us through I want to talk about the benefits of maturity Faida. Because maturity Faida ya ukomavu. has its benefit. Ukomavu una faida As you grow in Christ, Christo, there is a benefit. Kuna faida. There are things Kudomavu. that you will access Ambao that others cannot access and they will not understand your mystery. How come you are growing while people are crying? How come you are building when people have no money? Na watu wana pesa. That is what they ask. When COVID they asked me pastor how come you are driving a new car why people are dying of COVID they will die of COVID it is not because of pastor uh -huh. Uh -huh. and my car has nothing to do with the COVID did anybody hear me because we are not controlled by the systems of this world things are happening here and crises are happening the Lord will be ready to manifest the riches of his grace to you to you who has the spirit of God in you hallelujah it could never happen differently in Genesis chapter 41 I said the Bible says that there was going to be famine seven years and you know the Lord spoke to Pharaoh through a dream Pharaoh could not work on that because he did not have the spirit of the living God and now for things to work to overcome the famine those people it was dry for seven years. But they ate. They ate. For seven years. They supplied food. People who were outside. For seven years. And there is no record. Na record. Of anybody die. Ya mtu yote because there was a man. Who had the spirit of the living God. In him, yake. who could understand and know how to work it out in the wisdom of God, there may no other man could do it. I am God is looking for such men, people who have a zeal to mature and to work with him, even in difficult times. So that even when they say that we are going to die, oh, okay, that we are in trouble. Oh, okay, that we are in trouble. Oh, okay, Corinthians chapter number 2 verse 2 but the 
there is some wisdom you know, kuna hekima fulani ambayo inazungumziwa tu kwa walio komaa sasa you will remain a slave utabakia mtumwa and the devil na shetani will mishandle you ataendelea kukutumia vibaya and the systems of this world na michindo ya dunia hii will mishandle you itakutumia vibaya if you refuse ukikataa to mature kukomaa There is something about those who are not mature. Kuna jambo kuhusu wale ambao hawajakoma. They can easily be deceived. Wanaweza kudanganywa kwa urahisi. Easily shaken off. Wanatupelekwa upande na upande kwa urahisi. They can put you down. Mtu yote anaweza kuweka chini. Those who are not mature. Watu ambao hawajakoma. Any temptation. Unajaribu yoyote ile. Inaweza kukuweka chini. Listen those people who are not mature. Kuna wale ambao hawajakoma. Any trial. Majaribu yoyote. Pull you down. Yaweza kukuvuta chini. You may never grow. Unaenda hutakukua. Because a small temptation. Kwa sababu Jaribu oh, dogo my spirit is down. Jaribu ndogo. Oh moyo wangu uko chini. Oh oh. Will know. Atajua. That there is somebody who has come. Kama kuna mtu amekuja. Ephesians chapter number 4. Wa Efeso. Chapter number 4 verse 14. Verse 14. Chapter number 4 verse 14. As we wait for Swahili then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and brought blown here and there by every wind of teaching by the cunning and craft, crafty fool craftiness of people in their deceitful scheme Inasema hivi wa Efeso mlango wa 4 mstari wa 14 ili tusiwe tena watoto wachanga tukitupwa huku na huku na kuchukuliwa na kila upepo wa elimu kwa hila ya watu kwa ujanja tukizifuata njia za udanganyifu haleluya haleluya the bible is talking about bilinazungumza kuhusu maturity ukomavu and this maturity na ukomavu huu comes when the fullness unakuja wakati utimilifu all the whole measure of christ wa, 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 wa kipimo cha kristo also new inapokuja kwako the fullness of christ utimilifu wa kristo sits upon you inaketi juu yako you come out of babyhood unatoka katika hali ya utoto when you come out of babyhood na unapoondokea utoto nothing hakuna cha jambo lolote nothing hakuna will stop you kitu itakuzuilia you will not be stopped hautazuilika when they say wakisema you cannot fly hauwezi kupaa you tell them unawaambia i am going with the next flight ninaenda na ndege inafuata Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you are above. Maana uko juu. The systems of this world. Ya mitindo ulimwengu. You are not controlled. Hautawaliwi. By the things of the world. Na mambo ya ulimwengu huu. I'm talking things that affect us in this physical body. Na nazungumza kuhusu mambo ambayo yanatudhuru katika mwili wa kiasili. When you mature. Unapokoma. There are things that are not going to threaten you. Kuna mambo ambayo hayatakutisha. There are things that will not put you down. Kuna mambo ambayo hayezi kuweka chini. Nobody will deceive you. Hakuna mtu atakudanganya. They will not tell you come with. Hawatakwambia kuja. Tuamuombezi. Tutukupeleke kwa muombezi. They will not take you to a divine. Hawata kupeleka kwa mtu wa muombezi. They can take you to a witch doctor. Hata huwezi kupeleka kwa mchawi. You can never even land to a devil worshiper. Hata huwezi enda kwa mabudu shetani. Because you know yourself. Maana unajijua. And you are mature enough. Na umekomaa kiwango. The wisdom of God. Chakuwa na hekima ya Mungu. To silence every voice. Kunyamazisha kile sauti. Silence every power. Nyamazisha kila nguvu. Even the systems of the world. Hata mitindo ya ulimwengu. Silence. Utanyamazisha. And say listen. Na useme sikiliza. Dola Dola, I don't care how far you're going. Sijalishi unaenda umbali upi. But me purity. Lakini mimi I will remain blessed. Nitabariki mimi purity nitabaki nimebarikiwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can't say amen when I say me purity. Najua uwezi sema amen na naposema purity. I want to say. Nataka kusema. You'll be in a position to say dola. Utakuwa katika hali ya kusema dola. What you're doing. Sijalishi na kile unafanya. You're jumping up and down. Uta una kama unaruka juu ama chini. But your eye. Lakini mimi will remain blessed. Nitabakia mbarikiwa. I mimi will remain blessed. Nitabakia mbarikiwa nothing of me na hakuna chochote changu will be stopped it just zuiliwa in jesus name kwa jina la yesu and because of the spirit of the living god na kwa sababu ya roho wa mungu ambaye anaishi ndani yangu that releases anayeachilia wisdom hekima to the mature kwa waliokoma releases anaachilia wisdom hekima to the mature kwa waliokoma i will receive wisdom nitapokea hekima to overtake ya kupita this the famine enja I will receive wisdom to overtake ya the power of the sun. Nguvu ya ya jua. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is what I'm talking to about. Na, na kile And the Lord is looking for people. Na Bwana anatafuta watu who can desire to be mature. Ambao wanaweza tamani kukomaa. Who will work hard. 
ambao watafanya kazi kwa bidii zaidi ili wakomavu will keep themselves watajiweka to maturity kwa ajili ya ukomavu will completely seek watatafuta kabisa the fullness of god utimilifu wa mungu the fullness of christ utimilifu wa kristo aha, aha. to come to full ili iwe itimilifu completeness itimilike and come out of babyhood na kuondokea utoto come out of being a slave na kutoka katika hali ya, ya utumwa i don't know why you would like to live as a slave sijui kwa nini unataka kuishi kama i don't know who is speaking to god and say father sijui nani anazungumza na mungu na kusema baba help me nisaidie to come out of slavery toke katika utumwa somebody who is saying father mtu ambaye anasema baba help me nisaidie to come out of slavery toka katika utumwa i can see your hands say father sijui mkono wako ukisema baba nisaidie to come out of slavery toke katika utumwa i say father nasema baba help me Nisaidie to come out of slavery. Utumwa, I pray God. Naomba Mungu. That you may help me. Mungu nisaidie. To mature. Nikomae. Help me God. Nisaidie Mungu. To mature. Nikomae. Those who are not lifting their hands. Watu ambao hawana mikono yao. They still want to say. Kitu kama wale wanataka kusema. The devil will be oppressing you. Satan atakunyanyasa. Stay in there out. Uh, he, he will be playing with you. Anakuwa anacheza na wewe. Stay in there out. Siku baada ya siku nyingine. To the left and to the right. Anakupeleka huko na kule. Nakushukuru Mungu. I bless your name. Na nibariki jina lako. I give you all the glory. Kwa tukufu wote. Because you are God. Maana wewe ni Mungu. In Jesus name we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen.